working on cutting the inspection holes in the bottom of the wing. So right down here is the aileron pulley. So the way I'm doing this is I created a template on the router. So this inner size here, there's a collar on the router that will follow that. And then I've recessed it so I've placed a tape and it won't interfere with the router moving around. I also made it the same size as the bay, so it'll just fit between here. I have a little match mark set up here, and that's where this one's going to go. And just tape it on there and then run the router around. Okay, so now I'm going to put a pilot hole in here off the edge, not near the edge, to insert the router into. Here's a collar I made for the router, and this collar here is going to ride on the template. The rest of this is a UHMW foot, and it's a one inch diameter, so basically the bit sits in half an inch. With an amazing bit of luck, there's actually a pulley there right where we want it. Alright, so now on this one, obviously we've got a little curve in the wing. So the template can kind of follow that, but the way I'm going to hold it in place is to put a washer under these Clecos. And then the Cleco will hold the frame and I'll get a real good bite. I should have no problem bending it around the edge. I'll still tape it because I don't want it to move side to side any, but or up and down. But this will get the bend. Just like that. Yeah, we're down nice and tight. Put a couple more in there and then tape it.
So that's the six inspection covers, well the holes for the covers. Um, basically the flap arms, the flap springs, plus the top of the flap support here to get to the bolts. The pitot tube will be in here, and the uh, um, strut mounts right here, the steel bars. And over here is the aileron pulley and the actuator for the aileron. And so I will cut the rest of these covers out on the CNC router so they all fit to the holes, but all the holes are identical.